time travel. So we all want to go back in time, right? I think it'd be cool. I'd love to go back in time and invest in some companies that are going to be upcoming. That are your up and coming? Yeah, like Stadia. Yeah, like <laughs> like Google in general. Invest in so, Alphabet. Th- th- this this is kind of similar to the last topic we were talking about because they were actually reverse the time on a single atom. Again, it's a uh, a particle that has a uh, single nucleus. Yes. And this is also in a vacuum too. Well, I mean, interstellar space that has no nothing empty yet. and an empty interstellar space. But this See, was three times fast. But this was also the only thing. So <laughs> the only thing is, though, this experiment was pretty much done fully on software. That's uh, right. <laughs> on a quantum computer uh, on a quantum computer. Like quantum physics and quantum mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> quantum. <laughs> Yeah, and it was by, done by the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. Did they need help from some other people too? Um. So yeah. So with the colleagues from U.S. and Switzerland, uh, return to the state of the quantum computer, a fraction of a second into the past. Um, they also calculated the probability <laughs> that an electron in empty interstellar space will st- spontaneously travel back into its reverted past. The study published in the Scientific Reports. Yeah. Um, so basically they let this thing go through its processes and the computer itself, the quantum computer was apps, was able to calculate every little detail it would take to revert everything that had happened pretty much. And was able to reverse it, which takes a huge amount of computing better to do that. Um, cause that's every little change that happened that it has to reverse and it was able to do that. So. It's kind of time travel to a degree if you are physically changing every single molecule and every that we wouldn't have the power to do that, people. <laughs> in outer space. So by the time when we finally do, you're gonna have to be in outer space in order to do this, not in a DeLorean. Not a, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is actually all violating the second law of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. That's um that is uh when uh, matter um, changes by moving forward through like all, all different energy. Yes. Kind of like how something gets like heated up and um, all that stuff. I'm trying to trying to narrow it down. <laughs> so the, yeah, that's the reverse. point they make is that this kind of violates the second law of thermodynamics, but it kind of doesn't because they're actually calculating the reverse of it. Um, and that's why a lot of people have said like time travel can't exist because the the second law of thermodynamics. Yeah, um, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like how like uh, spilling ink on a paper and trying to reverse it back to back get into up. it. Yeah, yeah. But and this computer pretty much calculated every step it would take to reverse that back yeah. into the pen if it was a pen. Um, but just in that though, yeah, like just so in that space, you would have. It's to, kind of hard to explain it. You though. for to actually go back in time. You would have to reverse every single molecule atom in the entire universe at the same time. That would be pretty much impossible. Damn. <laughs> but that's a, that's on this level, though. That's on the, I guess you could say, what we can feel, touch, see level of seeing. This does not involve quantum Unless mechanics. Non, need- this does not involve the non-local reality. This involves the tangible like linear reality which is but well, how about uh how about if you create your own uh subspace into it and... <laughs> well that's a whole nother thing like in french <laughs> where learn you might try to create his own universe well not not really, <laughs> not really your own universe but your uh kind of like your own on um, just your own space like how they all uh, been experimented with other par- um, particles in a vacuum yes uh, when that worked the same way if it had its own magnetic field it would still take a lot to calculate everything. We wouldn't have the power yet. That's that. what I'm saying, no, um, because that's what I'm saying. It's like if you have like your own va- um, vacuum, and then if you're bending light in it, that would be kind of like it's a long mini universe, wouldn't it? By sending particles through that, kind of like a um, kind of like the super collider. Well, yeah, it would be, but it would be part of this universe. It wouldn't be still its own universe, though. So. so it would reverse time in that little space while we're still standing um here on the outside. 
Oh, as far as that, yes. That was actually another hero that was done. Yes, that can be possible. I see what you're getting at. Yes. So I can actually throw a hamster in there, and all of a sudden he goes to the past, and all of a sudden, meanwhile, back in the past, and there's all in the same space that we're in, you just see hamster just fly out of nowhere and come back, and they all of a sudden... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what would actually happen... All of a sudden he goes, great Scott, but in hamster language. <laughs> according, to, <laughs> according to this paper, though, what would actually happen is that you would de-age yourself. Like you say, if you were 80, you step inside this thing, and turn this program on, you would go back like 50 years and you'll be your 20 again. But everybody else will still be the same age. Yeah. In that same space. That, that, that's yes. what I was trying to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it'd be, it'd be a great, if we could figure out the computing power to reverse age, that would be great. So if, so if you have to uh, finally do uh, travel through time in a DeLorean, you can't do it outside and go 80 miles an hour. You have to be in a vacuum tube. But well, like around the, and doing it in there. But the only problem with that, though, according to this theory and paper, if you were to reverse time in that bubble as yourself, it would actually even reverse your memories as well, because your memories are made up of proteins in your brain. Those would reverse with you, so you'd have no memory of so it. So there's either. really no point in doing it. You'd have no memory of it either. <laughs> yeah, so you can't go back and change time to all the perfect days because you just forgot what happened today. Yeah, yeah, you would. Yeah, you just. In their younger. theory. In their theory. But you'd have a whole. But okay. But theoretically, you kind of could wipe the slate and live your life again if you want. And do the same thing wrong. Fine, I'm well, just no, you make different decisions. Fine, different you don't know go, you're making different decisions. Though. But you don't. That's the, that's the great thing about it. Fine, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload my memories to my computer first. <laughs> go back but in there. And also, when I come here and I'm younger, you can go ahead and download those back to my brain. Okay. <laughs> so if you if you go back in time, problem solved. You, you, you lose your you lose your mind. You're a baby again. What about your twin? What about your twin? No, 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 no. There is no not going back in time. You're literally just reversing your molecules. So you're, 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 you're traveling time in your body. Well, no, because this is talking about reversing just single molecules and atoms. I know, so, you, but like the human is going back in time, not, not the world. They're, the, all and their that matter. Yeah, all just the matter are reversing alone. all their process they took growing up. So Back you're just the way they were. going, it's just like those, those shows where they get zapped into a baby again. Yeah. All right, Except but they, but they forget everything. It's just you forget because all those game. memories are. But the butterfly relevant. effect. Yeah, <laughs> that was the, the first one was good. The second one was horrible. Yes, <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> um, I don't even think I made it through the whole thing. Yeah, the second like, one. Yeah, was this was a made for TV, uh, made for, uh, straight to DVD. They had such a good idea with the first one. It was a great movie, and then they screwed it up. And they're just sitting here, just to um, just use a bunch of vocabulary that nobody would even get. It's just, 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 just it, it, it's just so hard to explain. To other people that are not into this stuff. Yeah. I'm not but, good with words. <laughs> well, the non-local reality discussion for another day, though. That's a whole yes. other thing. We talked about it a little bit last week, actually. 